he took over. So yeah, the man got yeah, yeah. Um, Mike Tomlin got at least three or four rings. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think he was there when um. Uh, I don't know if he he might have been there when um uh, the Steelers beat the Seahawks in that Super Bowl. That might have been Tomlin. Y'all can correct me if I'm wrong. Mike Tomlin might have been there because he I know he, he had only he had long left Tampa Bay. But I don't, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't think um uh, Tomlin might have might have been there. But again, he has at least three rings on his finger. So honestly, I can see I can see Pittsburgh versus KC in the AFC Championship game. Unless Tennessee, you no know saying that unless um Mike Vrabel, because again, Mike Vrabel is a veteran. Okay, this is Mike Vrabel as a player, won three rings. He was on that um that New England Patriots team the first go around back in the early 2000s. So unless the Tennessee Titans and Derrick Henry basically um breaks out and surprises the world, I can see um KC and um Pittsburgh for the AFC Championship game. But Buffalo can also intercept. Like I said, Buffalo is a team you got to basically pay attention to. Pay very close attention to Buffalo. And again, I'm going Green Bay and Seattle because New Orleans is not beating Seattle. I'm sorry, man. Seattle is 2-0 and against New Orleans. And Seattle is definitely not like, um, again, you're, Seattle is definitely not Chicago at all. And if Seattle beats the, the Rams, they're definitely going all the way. Because remember, the Rams is a team who's been to the Super Bowl two years ago. So that, that's pretty much it. So for the first time, and this is also the, like the second time in Bill Belichick's coaching career that he's, his team is not making the playoffs. They basically, this is, they, they, they'll only miss the playoffs now twice. This is the second time. 2008 and now and now this year. Yep, second time in NFL years where you will not see the New England Patriots. And to be very honest, unless New England um gives Cam Newton some more help offensively, because Julian Edelman is getting old, you're not gonna see New England back for a playoffs in a long time. And if I'm Bill Belichick, I might, I might consider retirement. It's, it's pretty much time. Belichick had his time, he had his era. The man dominated for 20 years. Well, well over 20 years, man. Bill Belichick, I tell you, Bill Belichick been winning championships since the 80s. It's time to go. Bill Belichick is the greatest coach in NFL history, behind Vince Lombardi and Chuck Noll. But it's time for him to go. If I'm Bill Check, I'm just going to announce retirement. And I'm just going to just focus on being a GM. And the Patriots get them a brand new head coach going forward. Because it's over. No, the Patriots are going to have to rebuild that team anyway. Now, I'm going to say this before I leave. I'm going to pretty much um, bring up a couple of notable mentions. Of the teams to look uh, look for next year. Who also, uh, who also may make the playoffs next year. Look for the Miami Dolphins. Brian Flores has officially saved his coaching job. He's going to be around for the next three or four years. They're going to give him extension. Uh, Tua Gavala out of Alabama was the uh, quarterback they've been looking for. He's earned his, his. He's going to be the official starter. They're not going to use Fitzpatrick no more. The Dolphins almost made the playoffs. They were also 10-6 like the Browns. The only reason why the Dolphins are not in the playoffs now is because the Browns won more games. But yeah, definitely look for the Miami Dolphins to make a playoff run next season. Because Brian Flores finally has a team developed. He's worked very hard on that team. and they, they, yeah, they, they, Things are looking up for Miami. They definitely can compete. Because they now, for the first time since 2016, they're finishing off with a uh, decent record. And they also look for the Arizona Cardinals on the NFC. That's another team that has potential. Them and the Cowboys. Remember, the Cowboys got Mike McCarthy. And the fact that the Cowboys won four straight. And they beat it going into the um, that almost made the playoffs. That's a sign. And this is Mike McCarthy who made max cuts. Him and Jerry Jones made max cuts throughout the season. And they climbed. It's not going to take Mike McCarthy long to rebuild that Cowboys team. And if the Cowboys, like next season, and I'm not saying this because I'm a Cowboys fan, but if, the, if Mike McCarthy could get that team, once Dak Prescott comes back fully healthy, Zeke basically uh, recuperates, he gets back going. If the Cowboys can win at least 11 games next season, Green Bay needs to watch out. That's all I'm going to say. And also, too, I'm going to say this. J.J. Watt, if you J.J. Watt, it's time for you to leave the Houston Texans and make your way to one of these playoff teams. That's a contender. I'm going to make a separate video about J.J. Watt because I feel he needs to leave Houston. Right? And he needs to get up out of there because from what I've been told, and this is word around league, um, the Texans are releasing uh, Deshaun Watson. Which, to me, I don't understand what's going on. The Texans are literally becoming the worst franchise in NFL history. Because them trading DeAndre Hopkins was the worst thing they ever did. 
So uh, and, and now you get ready. I hear they getting ready to um, let go this show marks, and they already fired like four head coaches already. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm doing a separate video with JJ Watt because I feel that's a player you might want to um, pay attention to because JJ Watt might be requesting a trade. I don't see him finishing a career in Houston. But anyways, folks, that's the video, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this season. I'm gonna check back pretty much um next week when I advance the second round and see how everything's done. Y'all stay blessed, stay tuned, and as of always, I will see you soon.